Okay, in this video, Brittany Lincecum, power hitter, who's had some injuries she's battled through, but she's back and playing well this week. So let's take a look. Just a quick reminder, if it is your first time to the channel, please consider hitting that subscribe button so you don't miss any future videos and hit the like button as well because that really helps the channel grow. Thank you so much for that. So with the driver here, we'll take a look first, especially for this player who really bombs it out there. So with the driver swing, certainly some unique things to her game. She definitely hovers the club starts it on the ground and lifts it up into the air above the ball and then brings it back. Certainly unique. Very strong grip and then she really rotates through to hold that face open on the way through. But as it starts back with a strong grip, which we'll see a little from the other, the other view, we can see right away at this point just how closed that club face is here. Twisting the face in and under the shaft, or under the plane rather, and down to the ground really keeping the right arm extremely straight, which is somewhat unusual, some interesting moves. So a hyperextended left or right elbow look there, which sends this shoulder vertical. And the face very closed, mostly like I said, just due to the grip, twisting it inside, creates a lot of width with that right arm being so straight. And she's five foot 10, tall player, and has a very quick swing for a tall player. I don't see that as often with players like her that have that height but gets very quick transition, really lays it back shallow. Now you can see in a beautiful plane coming down with that shaft, getting parallel to the original shaft plane and then right on it. So here the club face in perfect position, but very interesting because the grip is so strong, she doesn't actually have to bow that wrist down. At this point, she actually has it looking very skyward with the back of her left wrist or left hand. Normally that would be bowing down to help close the face, but because her grip is so strong, she has that face in a great position, forearm for the right arm exactly on plane, and then delivers it beautifully on a little bit of an inside out upswing with a driver. And she has a lot of fairways, a lot of greens, really good ball hitter. It's really just the putting that tends to hold her back sometimes. So from the front view, we can also see some unique things to her action. Certainly a great setup for the driver Nice spine tilt behind the ball, good wide stance. Ball position, like I said, looking a little bit back here just because the camera's a little bit off, but the grip itself, we can see strong positionally. So left hand way over this direction, right hand way underneath. And the face even looks closed at address. And then here comes the hover move where she lifts it. Looks like the ball should be literally up here in the air somewhere at this point. And she's going to twist it under that wrist, wrist action right here. Probably picked that up as a kid. Try to get that club moving as a little kid. Face shut, really shut going back, great width. And there's a huge turn. So even though the club isn't all the way to the top, massive shoulder turn, well past 90 degrees. Hips certainly past 45. And now here's that athletic move. Even though, like I said, short, but very athletic move. Look at those hips firing out of there as the arms are still on their way up. And now the body's pulling that left arm, pulling the club. So she doesn't have to do any, any work at all with the arms. And now it looks crazy athletic, massive lag. You can see the shaft just bowing there because she's so strong and can just put that pressure on it. And once again, here's that left arm, left hand, very unusual position, sort of back left hand skyward versus bowing down just because she had it so strong at a dress. Staying back and turning. Shaft bending because of the camera, not because it's actually bending in real life. Very interesting though. Very incredibly powerful looking where she's back behind it, hitting up on it. But the hands look different because of the strong grip. Face square through impact, full release. And like I said, she really bombs it. She's in the 270 club out there. Now, if we look at the iron shot here, interesting. She really doesn't lift the club up so much. She raises slightly there on the takeaway. But because she's so tall, the hands are extremely low. And she doesn't really twist it under as much with it, like with the driver. She actually has a little twist there, but then picks it up to get it above the plane. And when you play a lot of golf like she has, clearly she knows that if the club works its way under here, by the time she was probably... 15 years old, she knew if the club got way under here with a, an iron compared to a driver, she can get the club stuck under here and hit fat thin shots with an iron. So she got the club instead 
up above the plane high enough. And then when she makes that great athletic shallow move there, right back down to the plane, almost exactly where she started. So back to a good position. And with the camera on a little bit different line, I have a feeling that would look like the club is going a little bit more in here. I'm sure the camera's not exactly down the line on this shot, but same great width, short, very dynamic move, right on through. One last look at the driver here. You can see there's that hover move, twisted under, there's a face really shut, big hip turn, big shoulder turn, and there you go, those hips out of there, and now left arm straight across the top of the shoulders there, no pulling on the arms really rotating out of the way. That's incredibly powerful looking. Full release right there. And another one right down the middle. And with the putting, one thing's for certain, she gets so many chances that are close for birdie. This is a birdie putt from you know, four feet or so. And this one misses well off to the right. I think those power hitters, like her and Lexi Thompson, other players that struggle with the putter, they get so many chances, they still are incredibly competitive, but she does have a stroke that creates a loop in there. It doesn't work on a simple move back and through, and I'm sure she knows it. It's just, I'm sure it's something that she battles. But if she can get the putter straightened out, which clearly this week, she's eight under par, going into the last round, making a bunch of birdies, then she's going to be in there competitive. And once again, with so many opportunities inside 10 feet, because she hits it so far, uh, she does have a chance to make a lot more birdies, even with mediocre putting. Okay, that's going to wrap it up for this video. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.